Hi, Algebra 2 students. We're going to go over Section 1.5, Solving Inequalities, and that's what our learning target is. We're going to be able to solve inequalities. So solving inequalities, first of all, when you solve an inequality, we also are asked to graph it. So first of all, you need to remember what the inequality signs are. So a less than sign points to your left, and when you graph it, it's going to be an open circle. Greater than sign will point to your right, and again, that will be an open circle on your graph. And less than or equal to just has that little line underneath of it pointing to your left. That will be solid, and greater than or equal to will be a solid point in pointing to your right. So when we solve the inequality, um, we're going to solve it just like an equation. So I'm going to subtract 4w from both sides. So I have 1w, you don't have to write the 1. These cancel out, now I have 9, subtract 3. So I have w is greater than 6. And when I graph this, I'm going to draw a number line, as will you. And you can just write the number and then one number on each side, if you will. And since this is a greater than sign, I'm going to have an open circle. And I have to think of all the numbers greater than 6, so it's pointing to the right. So that will be my answer. So what happens when we multiply or divide by a negative and we have inequalities? Well, let's look to see what happens. I have an inequality here, a true statement. Negative 21 is less than a negative 14. And I'm going to times each side by a negative 2. So a negative 21 times a negative 2 is going to be a positive 42. And a negative 14 times a negative 2 is going to be a positive 28. Now is this a true statement? No. But I um, did use the properties of inequality on each or of equality on each side. I did multiply by the same number. So that's why we have to change the sign. So remember the rule. With inequalities, anytime you multiply or divide by a negative, you must flip the sign. So you need to um, write that rule down if you are forgetful of that. Otherwise, if you know what that rule is, then feel free to um, not pause the video and let's move on. So we're going to solve, and I'll add graph to this. We'll graph it too. <clears throat> so I want you to pause the video and see if you can solve this on your own. Okay, so what we're going to do is times by 6. We want to get rid of that denominator right away. We don't like denominators. So we're going to uh, multiply those out. So that would be a negative 24c is less than or equal to 5c plus 58. I'm going to subtract 5c from both sides. That's going to be a negative 29c is less than or equal to 58. I divide by a negative 29 on both sides. So C is greater than or equal to a negative 2. And when I graph this, I just need three points on my line, negative 2, negative 1, and negative 3. Now it's a greater than or equal to. It has a solid line underneath of it, so therefore it's going to be a solid point and I'm going to move it or make my arrow point to the right because I want everything greater than a negative 2. And the last problem I'm going to leave you with is a word problem. Um, I want you to write an inequality that would represent this problem given to you. And then after you write it, I want you to solve it as well. All right? So you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in class. Adios.